previous uh, employers as the new uh, CIO, uh, I encountered an expectation that uh, this, uh, this wonder child who I was seen as was going to now deliver 24 by 7 support for the hundreds of applications that this organisation was running. I thought this is a very dangerous expectation and I have to get out there quite quickly and quash it. So I uh, prepared a uh, PowerPoint presentation and went around to everyone who would listened to me uh, delivering the message that 24 by 7 was not on. Uh, the, that was the name of the presentation. What happened next was quite interesting. Once I uh, went through that painful process of helping the organisation out of denial that we were ever going to be able to afford 24 by 7 for all of our systems, we got engaged in quite a useful conversation about the natural rhythms of the organisation. What were the key systems at what times of the year? What critical business events meant that certain systems, not all systems, but a very small number of systems, were critical for those key periods, for those key business events? Uh, jointly with the various parts of the business, we mapped a calendar of those events and we targeted support to those events so that those high-risk areas were well supported by people who knew the applications. It was a very interesting outcome because what I would have uh, uh, been unable to afford, what would have been a multi-million dollar cost for 24 by 7 support for numerous systems, turned into quite a modest cost of about a quarter of a million dollars to look after key systems at those key times when they are required. So I think it's a great example of having a very detailed conversation with the business but the interesting thing for me was the trigger in the first place. It was really important for me to be prepared to go out there and challenge an unrealistic expectation in order to then encourage the necessary conversation about what was realistic and what could be done.